हेलो एवरीवन एंड थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग एरुपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियोस इन दिस सेशन वील अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस स्टार्टिंग विथ ब्रेक इवन द वर्ड इज सजेस्टेड for the point where total revenue is equal to the total cost we'll understand it with the help of a graph keeping the quantity at the horizontal axis and price at the vertical axis if we plot the fixed cost of a firm then it would be parallel to the horizontal axis now if we plot the total variable cost of production then as we know the variable cost varies as per the production then it would be proportional to the quantity so the graph for the variable cost would be somewhat like this one now adding both these we get the total cost or we can say the graph of total cost would be formed by adding these two lines point to point so this is our total cost now we have to draw the total revenue so as we know the selling price normally which the firm opt is incorporative of the variable cost fixed cost and profit so the price of selling is greater than the cost incurred so keeping that in mind and keeping that the firm believes in profit maximization then the total revenue graph would be something like this one it is also proportionate to the quantity sold so in break even we are talking about this point this is the quantity which is known as break even point break even quantity you can also call it so below this quantity the company incurs loss so this region is loss region this one and above above this point the company gets profit now we can see that for break even we know total revenue is equal to total cost so we just have to equate it and whatever may be the question we can just find the unknown quantity with the help of this equation so suppose the unknown quantity is 
Q star that is the break-even quantity multiplied with the selling price and total cost is the total fixed cost plus total variable cost the total cost remains fixed for whatever may be the quantity produced but total variable cost depends upon the quantity of production multiplied with the average variable cost or you can say variable cost so in this way we can see we can shuffle the uh, components and uh, we can derive this one So, for any break-even quantity, we can calculate it with the help of this formula. To calculate break-even quantity, we have to divide the total fixed cost uh, by selling price minus average fixed cost. Or you can say divide the total fixed cost by the contribution. So this is the break-even quantity and uh, if we have to find out the break-even sales then we just have to multiply the quantity uh, over price, uh, the selling price. So this is the uh, sales revenue at uh, break-even quantity and we can also calculate mm, the amount of uh, quantity produced for a certain uh, profit if company is incurring certain profit you just have to uh, reframe the equation so uh, in case in case of profit What we can do is we can change the equation as total revenue is equal to total cost plus profit. So what we can do is we write all the components in the same manner as we have done in our analysis of break-even quantity so here we have oh sorry about this one should have been variable cost total fixed cost plus profit divided by selling price minus variable cost so this can be the quantity for a certain amount of profit if the profit amount is given then we can use this formula and uh, anything or any amount of quantity which is over the break-even quantity is called 
the margin of safety so there are three formula that you can utilize while calculation of break-even but the basis of all these formulae is your simple concept of uh, total revenue uh, is equal to total costs in case of break-even and total revenue is equal to total cost plus profit in case of profit so uh, let's start with a question so that we can understand how to solve it uh, with the help of the formula given so here is our problem and uh, it's a very simple problem in which we have to calculate the break-even output and total sales revenue and in the next one we have to calculate the output for a certain profit sales revenue and the margin of safety at that level in the question we are provided with uh, uh, the total fixed cost and uh, the total variable cost as well as the selling price so it would be very easy to calculate so using the formula I'll calculate all of them so first the break-even quantity um, which would be equal to as we know the total fixed cost divided by the contribution that is the difference between the selling price and the variable cost so this is the total uh, rather this is your break-even quantity as I've told the sales revenue at that point would be equal to the break-even quantity multiplied with the selling price so this is the sales revenue and in the next question what we have to do is we have to calculate the quantity for, for a certain profit so what we'll do is we'll add fixed cost and the profit the profit and that will be divided by the contribution so the amount is 16,000 the quantity to be produced is 16,000 sales revenue would be the quantity produced multiplied with the selling price and margin of safety would be equal to the quantity produced minus the break-even quantity so this is very simple process to calculate the break-even quantity sales revenue and margin of safety uh, hope this video helps you understand the break-even concept thank you for watching this video